Hey guys, Fan here, and today I'm going to bring you guys one quick trick that you can use to beat the Butcher in almost every scenario. Um, it's very, very effective. It's very simple, but it makes beating Butcher like 10 times easier. Now, before I get to the trick and before I show you guys the trick in detail, I want to mention a few quick tips in regards to fighting Butcher. And I wanted to kind of explain the Butcher mechanics as far as I understood them from the Diablo betas. Uh, I've probably fought him like 10 times through all the Diablo betas, something like that. So what I've noticed was that if you are far away from the Butcher, if he is, you know, more than like one screen away from you what well, he'll have two moves he will either do a charge towards you which will stun you if it hits or he'll throw a hook at you and pull you all the way back to him which will also stun you if it hits next if you're point blank right next to him trading let's say melee auto attacks with him uh, he will do a headbutt kind of animation which will also stun you so you don't really want to be either too far away from him or too close to him. Otherwise, he has moves that will stun you. Uh, so first of all, keep that in mind. The optimal distance would actually be keeping him somewhere on your screen so that he's just walking towards you, but not using any of these spells. Um, also, since he has so many stuns, you definitely want an unstoppable if possible, on your hero kit. Basically, every class gets access to one of these unstoppable talents, and you want to use it right as you get stunned so you can break out of the stun immediately. As you can see, I just did so right there with the rogue unstoppable shadow step on my Q. So you can see there I ran out of the screen. I got out of his screen, and he immediately hooked me back. Um, and that's not what you want. And once again, I dashed out of the screen and he charged at me, which is also not what you want. Uh, what the, the proper distance would be something like this. This way, he's just walking at you, but he's not casting any abilities at you. So if you're going to run around the dungeon with Butcher in tow, try to keep the distance somewhere around this range. That should help you quite a bit in terms of uh, taking less damage against the Butcher. Now, the next tip I have for you is what I'm doing right now. I kind of don't have enough potions to fight them for real. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of looking for any elites or any treasure chests or corpses on the ground that I haven't gotten to yet. Elites die much faster than the butcher, of course. So if you can just quickly take down these elites or open a treasure chest real quick as you see it on your way, as you're running away from the butcher, they actually drop potions very very frequently and i was at zero potions earlier and now i'm at three potions because i'm kind of just running around the dungeon looking for any chance i can get to get potions uh this will help you out a lot as well if you're just aware of the fact that there's a lot of stuff around the dungeon that can drop potions for you very valuable if you start running out of potions in your battle against the butcher you can see on the chest there that's two more potions right up there and i'm slowly kiting butcher i'm slowly lowering his hp but even still this is quite a struggle so this is not going to be easy if you don't have really good gear uh, even with this tactic so now we come to the ultimate butcher uh clearing tactic and this tactic revolves around a pillar or anything in the center where you can run around it so i'm going to show you guys this clip first because i think this makes it a little easier to understand this was a different clip of my party encountering butcher and you can see what we do here is as soon as you find a pillar you can just kite butcher around the pillar so not only does this stop him from charging or hooking because he's on your screen and you're not too far away? Uh, but his melee headbutt stun also will miss as long as you're moving. So as you can see in this clip, I have multiple party members, whoever he's aggroed onto, you just run around the, uh, the pillar and it makes it so that his targeting gets a little messed up he has to chase you and you can just throw out any kind of ability you can while continuously kiting him around the uh, the pillar and this makes him so much easier to take down if you know this trick anytime you you can just run around the dungeon lead him around find something 
where you can run in a circle and then just kite him around until he dies. It's much, much better this way. You take, I would say, probably like 90% less damage if you're kiting him around one of these pillars than if you're standing still and trying to man fight him. So it is a massive difference and it helps out a ton. And not only, um, this, this works even if you're by yourself. So you don't need other people like in this clip for this to work. Um, as you can see here, we did manage to take him down pretty easily by kiting him here. But in this clip, I also kite him around a pillar, so to speak, that I find right here. And this one is less of a pillar. It's more like there's just a big terrain in the middle where I can run around, right? But that's all you need. You can see here, simply by kiting him around, I'm not being stunned anymore. I'm not being auto attacked. I can just hit him with my cooldowns and then keep running away and wait for my cooldowns to come back up before I hit him again and then run away again. And, um, you know, this way, is much much better in terms of actually trying to kill the butcher early on before you get really good gear um it's gonna be so much better so much simpler if you just do something like this uh, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video you can see the ends of me killing butcher here and in this clip by the way i didn't have uh, i i don't think i had many legendaries i only had one or two the, the one that guaranteed drops that gives you a bubble so i'm not over geared or anything and i was still able to take it down even with a melee rogue so you can see this is a pretty effective tactic hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video